Hi guys. Shrewless here. Today we'll now begin to read a story called Cuphead, and I hope you enjoy it. Once upon a time, in a magical place called Inquil Isle, there were two brothers named Cuphead and Mugman. They lived without a care under the watchful eye of the wise Elder Kettle. One day the two boys wandered far from home, and despite the Elder Kettle's many warnings, ended up on the wrong side of the tracks and entered the Devil's Casino. Inside, Cuphead and Mugman soon found themselves on a winning streak at the craps table. Hot dog! exclaimed Tim Dice, the casino's sleazy manager. These fellas can't lose! Nice run, boys, laughed the newcomer. The brothers gasped. It was the casino's owner, the devil himself. Now, how about we raise the stakes? He suggested with a toothy grin. Win one more roll, and all the loot in my casino is yours! The devil boomed. But if you lose, I'll have your souls. Deal? Cuphead, blinked by easy riches, nodded and grabbed the dice for a throw. Good gosh, Cuphead, no! cried Mugman, for he understood the danger. But it was too late. Snake Eyes! left the devil while slamming the floor. You lose! The brothers trembled in fear as he loomed over them. Now, about those souls. The brothers pleaded for their very lives. Th, there must be another W way to repay you, Mugman stammered. Yes, he please, Mr. Cuphead added. HMM, perhaps there is, the devil snickered, pulling out a parchment. I have here a list of my runaway debtors. Collect their souls for me, and I just might pardon you two mugs. Now get going. The devil roared, kicking the boys out most rudely. You have till midnight tomorrow to collect every one of those souls. Otherwise I'll be the one collecting yours. Cuphead and Mugman were terribly frightened and ran away as fast as they could. Come on, Mug. Panted Cuphead. We have to find the Elder Kettle. He'll know what to do. After they killed the devil, the brothers had triumphed over the demon, forcing him to finally give up. We shall accept your surrender, devil, Cuphead laughed. But we're not done just yet. And with that, Cuphead and Mugman destroyed all of the soul contracts, releasing Inkwell Isle's residents from eternal servitude to the devil. Gosh, I can't wait to tell everybody, Cuphead said. The boys set off for home and at top speed. Come on, last one, there's a leaky cup. Mugman teased as they ran. Once home, the brothers gathered everyone together. You're all free of the devil's debt, Cuphead announced. And that fiend won't bother us again. Mugman added, the Elder Kettle was literally grinning with pride as everyone began to cheer. Let's hear it for Cuphead and Mugman. Hip hip hurrah! Hip hip hurrah! As an all-day celebration began, the brothers promised to never wander into trouble again. And they didn't until the next time, of course. But that is another story. The end. Thanks for watching in this videos. Thank you again. The story is over. Bye bye.